This is Theodore, or we call him Theo. Theodore uh, was born with a couple different congenital heart defects. He had a coarctation of his aorta, a ventricular septal defect, and a patent ductus arteriosus. So it seems like a lot of people are diagnosed in utero, unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know, I didn't have time to mull over it. Um, we did not find out until 13 days um, after he was born. He stopped eating, and so we took him to the pediatrician who realized that he was in respiratory distress, and so we were taken via ambulance to our local hospital, um, and they basically just stabilized him and prepared him to be medevaced to Hershey, where later that night we found out about his congenital heart defects. Theodore has only had one open heart surgery, and at this point there really isn't any definitive talk of any more. Um, they fixed his coarctation and his ventricular septal defect, and we are just on routine monitoring to uh, continue to check his coart. He might need a catheterization down the road, and also to um, keep an eye on his a bicuspid aortic valve that he has. Theodore is not ever cured. It's always something that has to be monitored, these congenital heart defects. So he will continue to see his cardiologist all of his life. At this point, he's on six month recalls. Um, we hope to get to an point where he can go annually. Mm -hmm. And other than that, we just have to um, monitor for changes with respiration or color changes with him. But um, at this point, he seems to be doing okay. Better than okay. <laughs> so I think having a second child changes any family. Um, however, having a child that has special needs in some facet has definitely just made us more aware um, of, of how blessed we really are because it is something for him that was able to be fixed and he's okay. Um, but I would say it's changed our family in the sense that it's made us advocates for congenital heart defects and congenital heart awareness just to tell other families about our story and make sure that they know if they're ever going through this that they can contact us and talk to us and they have someone that has yeah. been through it. I think anytime you have a child your biggest fear would be something happening to them and um, we have met people that have lost their children to these heart defects. Uh, we try not to live in fear. We try to just take every day as it comes and remember it's a blessing that we were given. Um, but we do realize that he will probably have some extra precautions that other kids don't. But um, we, we try not to live, live with fear of, of what could happen. Nothing particularly bothers me when other people ask because I like educating them and you know talking to them about congenital heart defects. Um, they are so common and people don't realize that. Um, so I think it's important to get the word out there. One thing that bothers me though, and I know I've said it when I was pregnant with both of my kids, is it doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl, I just hope for a healthy baby. And I realize now that even though he wasn't born healthy, I would hope for nothing else. Like, he's the baby that was meant for us. And so that's the only thing that kind of bothers me a little bit is because I don't love him any less because he wasn't necessarily healthy. He was who was meant for us in our family. So if I could take back saying, I just wish for a healthy baby, I would because we were obviously given exactly who we were meant to have. I wish people realized that congenital heart defects are a lot more common than they think. One in 100 babies are born with a congenital heart defect. I also wish that um, perhaps in the future we'll have more funding and research to be able to discover the cause of congenital heart defects in order to prevent them uh, so we don't have to just treat them and put parents into these situations where there's a lot of scary unknowns regarding the future of their baby and their health. My biggest hope for Theodore is that as he grows older, he won't be treated differently from any other child. Just because he has a congenital heart defect, it won't define him as a person. It's a major part of him and we look forward to being able to share his story and educate others, but we don't want it to be the entire part of him, his whole being. We want him to be able to grow up and do the sports that he wants to do and become whatever he wants to be without any uh, limitations to stop him. This is Theo, and he has the heart of a warrior.